Well, hello there. I am Sonia Barrett, the producer of the documentary, The Business of Disease, uh, which was released actually in 2016. And of course, you can find out um, more about the film and the various platforms that it can be found on demand by visiting thebusinessofdisease.com. Its emphasis, of course, is that the cure is in the body, not in the business. And of course, encouraging us all to take charge of our own spirit, minds, and body. Uh, and you know, when we say the, uh, the cure is in the body, not in the business, I like to emphasize that we're basically stating that uh, the body has natural abilities to fix itself, basically under the right conditions, the ideal conditions. So. Uh, so today, our featured guest is going to be uh, one from the film, who is Dr. Stephen Halprin, who is a Grammy Award-nominated, multi-platinum-selling uh, recording artist, composer, producer, researcher, author, and pioneering sound healer, which is wonderful because we really need to, to know more about that aspect of it. So as you know, we've been sharing a series of short interviews and experts, um, you know, with experts basically from the film. They are very brief dialogues, but stimulating reminders and tools for health. So Stephen Halprin, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. Well, great, I'm delighted to be here uh, with awesome. you and with all of us. Uh, what I would share with you is that when I started uh, channeling the music that I've been doing, I was challenged by scientists like Dr. John Lilly and Dr. Stanley Krippner to do research to prove that the subjective responses that people were uh, experiencing, music helps me feel relaxed, I feel inner peace when I listen, uh, was confirmed with uh, biofeedback. And at that point, no one was doing biofeedback in music. What we found is that most music that was considered to be music for relaxation, which in the 60s and 70s was still just classical music, there was no genre of relaxation and healing music, uh, did not actually produce meaningful relaxation. So my work over the last 45 years has been to research and produce music that just by listening, people can uh, avail themselves, can learn to orchestrate their own consciousness, that they can shift their brain waves uh, easily. One of the beauties of using the correct uh, stimulus, the right kind of music, is that it's automatic. When, uh, when I was involved in research over in London with the uh, Mind Mirror, uh, laboratory, we found out that part of what I bring, just like what you bring, Sonia, is through my own energy and the energies that come through me onto the recording, uh, just by listening, people tune into that information field, into that state. And then on some of my more recent albums, I add brainwave entrainment uh, technology which are like training wheels for the brain so that we virtually guarantee that you could get into a high coherence, balanced brainwave state automatically within seconds. Mm. Unlike most music that gets you into what I call the scaleless interruptus uh, modality, meaning that if I were to sing a little scale, watch what happens in your breathing and in your mind, uh, distraction factor, the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. And most everyone is hearing that last note in their head, in their mind, sometimes they'll sing it, do. But in the meantime, that takes you out of the present moment. You're in the future. Mindfulness, being aware of the present moment is not what most music is about. It's about getting you out of mindfulness into paying attention to the external. My music is about going inside. Now also because of the uh, harmonies and the uh, structure of the music, when you listen, your breathing slows down, your brain waves naturally shift from normal beta into 
Alpha, and then on some of the albums, Deeper into Theta, the advantage of that, as Deepak Chopra and Bruce Lipton and so many other people have been talking about, is that your body knows how to self-orchestrate on the spectrum of consciousness in a relaxed, deep alpha state and deep theta state, you can uh, instruct your genes and your DNA to express for greater healing. This is one of the great uh, potentials and realities of healing music in that literally we can support our immune system, which is so important now in the age of COVID. Most music is not about uh, supporting your immune system, nor does it need to be. It's entertainment. I'm working with entrainment. And in fact, when I got my Grammy nomination, I got called by the Grammys and by uh, a Billboard magazine and said, you know, you have a spelling error on your cover. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you spelled entertainment wrong. And I had to point out, you know, there's another concept is called entrainment. So I got to school them on what that means. The reality is, even when it comes to uh, the streaming platforms like Pandora, Spotify, et cetera, the integrity of the information field that's encoded on my albums and in the music comes through to people so that uh, just listening as background will have a beneficial harmonizing effect. But when you use your mind to focus your intention and listen with attention, whether it's streaming or on a playlist or your own CDs, you can take that effect, that strengthening, that immune enhancing effect uh, much more powerfully into your consciousness, into your vibratory reality. And that's why music is so much of the ancient healing art and now so much of the healing art that we need in our present day. Wow, absolutely. Wow, you did say quite a bit in there and I'm telling you, you packed a punch with that because it's so important that we understand this today. I just wanna ask you one more thing, if you can throw this in, um, just because of people and sleeping and bed, where they have their beds, just those little things that they can probably tweak that might be affecting even their rest. And you've talked about that, you, you know, you have outlets behind your bed. You have a lot plugged in in your bedroom. Right, so the only thing I have plugged in in my bedroom on the far wall is my, my little uh, stereo so that I will listen to soundtracks typically that I've composed that are available, my Sleep Soundly and uh, Chakra Suite that balance my energy fields, helping me go to sleep. Uh, music like this helps quiet the mind because most music you're paying attention, you're doing that scaleless interruptus, uh, you're trying to finish the music in your mind. So I like to have an environment, obviously we have no light coming in, we, we uh, know that light will keep you awake, even the beautiful blue light that so many machines have, uh, not, not just the cell phones, but, but your stereos will have the beautiful blue light, not for sleeping. And uh, what we notice is because sleeping, uh, about 70 million people have a sleep deficiency in our country now, uh, getting a good night's sleep is so important that many people use my music to go to sleep and to play as you're sleeping and keep you into that state because you can still hear and respond while you're sleeping. And that's part of uh, what I do and I've done for my, myself for the last 45 years. Uh, I am a firm believer and user of healing music and um, I certainly practice what I preach. Oh, wow, absolutely. Thank you. So, of course, I'm very familiar with your music as well and uh, it is so very true. Uh, well, you know, Stephen, would you please provide us with your website so that people sure. can go there and get some of this great material, this great music? Great. Uh, the website is stephenhalpernmusic.com. Uh, that's S-T-E-V-E-N-H-A-L-P-E-R-N music.com. My YouTube channel is youtube.com, Stephen Halpern Music. Makes it simple. You could get a lot of the samples there, a lot of the research. And again, just watching the beautiful videos, just listening to the music puts you in a state where your molecules are immediately vibrated and brought into a higher coherence and greater harmony uh, through the music. I mean, it's automatic. One of the great benefits of music and resonance and entrainment is that it's automatic. You don't have to think about it. It just happens when you use the right stimulus. All right, thank you so, so much. 
um, Stephen Halperin. And of course, uh, visit the businessofdisease.com. I want to remind everybody about that. Uh, if you miss this information in terms of the website, the information will be there. And I also encourage you to read the book, Health and Inside Job and Outside Business, um, which is actually a supplement to the film, but there's a chapter written by uh, Dr. Stephen Halperin as well, and many of the wonderful people that have been in the film. Uh, again, all of these details are available on the website, thebusinessofdisease.com. And uh, it'll also keep you updated on everything else that's coming in all of the, uh, the rest of this series. So thank you so much for watching and please do share it with others. That's the key. Stay tuned. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.